asking, are you participating in hygiene theater? That's a term coined by a reporter for The Atlantic. It refers to the COVID era obsession over deep cleaning. Some of that scrubbing and sanitizing may not be doing much to protect us. Consumer Eye Team reporter Kat Reed explains why it could actually be harmful in the long run. Clean is the new marketing strategy these days. Restaurants, stores, even hotel brands promise employees will scrub and disinfect every surface in sight. But is it actually making us safer? It is a way that it can be spread, but it is certainly not the major way that it is spread. In May, the CDC clarified the primary mode of transmission is through close contact from person to person, not surfaces. A microbiology professor at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School went a step further, saying the risk of transmission through inanimate surfaces has been exaggerated. He added the fixation on surfaces could actually become counterproductive. It's something Atlantic reporter Derek Thompson has dubbed hygiene theater. We obsess over risk reduction rituals that make us feel safer, but don't actually do much to reduce risk. Some experts believe the obsession over contaminated surfaces can lead to infection control burnout, so you're less likely to focus on the other more effective strategies to stop COVID. I think we all do have a little bit of, of cows, COVID weariness we syndrome. It's all up to us to do the individual right thing, and even though we're weary, every day is a new day. Continue to understand and do those things that we are endorsing. Which are, of course, wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands. I'm Consumer I-Team reporter Kat Reed, 41 Action News Today.